Well then, go ahead. Tell me. What brought you to my world woven of illusions and regrets? To my kingdom of lights and ever-gleaming gold? Your radiance, what do you wish to know? Once we put them in the monster cage, they'll talk. Hey, come on! I told you, we were sent by Pure Vanilla Cookie. What? So you mean to say Pure Vanilla Cookie has returned? I've heard nothing of him since the war. These cookies have continued to insist that they've been sent by Pure Vanilla Cookie ever since their arrival. Well, then surely you have proof to support this claim. That's right! We brought a letter from Pure Vanilla Cookie himself! Bring me this letter. I thought he was in hiding. So what is this letter for? Huh? Dark Enchantress Cookie has broken her seal? Pardon me, are you saying that horrific specimen of a cookie is at large once again? The outside world is already preparing to fight Dark Enchantress Cookie. That's why we've come to you for aid. Earthbread needs you, Golden Cheese Cookie! Lend us your strength! Listen well, cookies from foreign lands. The Golden Cheese Kingdom will not enter this war! What? But you're one of the ancient heroes, aren't you? A hero that's protected this world with the strength of your soul jam! Hero, you say? So you think ancient heroes are some kind of traveling problem solvers? My soul jam is already being used to maintain this golden city, which is something even the denizens aren't aware of. Ah, this glorious, sparkling kingdom I have built. You see, without its queen, it will cease to exist. So let this be known. The queen will not desert her kingdom. Now, you may return from where you came. But countless cookies are in danger! Quiet! How dare you question my divine judgment? Uh, uh, these outlanders bore me. I wish to retire to the Cheese Fondue Springs. You three, join me and keep me entertained. Yes, my queen. Forgive me, your radiance, but I must tend to my cheesebird flock. I shall accompany you as soon as I am able. I shall return after ensuring the safety of the Kingdom Gates. Well then, I'll keep watch from the control chamber. <laughs> uh, everyone is preoccupied, I see. Then we will go on our own, Smoke Cheese Cookie. That didn't go well. Such arrogance. To think that's one of the ancient heroes. But we have a mission we can't give up. That's right. Let's try to convince Golden Cheese Cookie. Golden Cheese Cookie, wait! We'll come with you! Your Majesty, now is the time for you to listen to my counsel. Hmm. What is it? The expansion of the Golden Cheese Kingdom with the strength of your soul jam, of course. I see you wish to resume that old argument of ours, Smoked Cheese Cookie. Remember, it was your enormous greed that got you sent to the Colosseum, and yet, you wish to bring it up again? My greed is only ever on behalf of this glorious kingdom, your radiant. If your majesty were to take over the neighboring settlements, would the kingdom not be better protected from Dark Enchantress Cookie's return? With your majesty's soul jam and my monsters, we could increase and multiply the Golden Cheese Kingdom's strength. Smoke Cheese Cookie, my power here is already absolute. The Golden City is perfectly safe under my protection. Not to mention, 
I have already lost what was most precious to me because my focus was elsewhere. I do not plan on repeating my mistake. <sighs> Understood. After all, your Radiance's strength is yours to wield as you desire. <laughs> I see you finally understood. Let us go. I must rest my weary feet in the cheese fondue springs at once. Dark Enchantress Cookie has returned, and yet... Golden Cheese Cookie refuses to listen to me. I suppose she's blind to how much we suffered when she was off fighting with those oh-so-great hero cookies. Continue on like this for the sake of the kingdom, but <laughs> even for someone who refuses to face reality, this is taking it too far. After all, without your soul gem, you're nothing but a childish brat. Whoa! Look over there! Her radiance has come to the cheese fondue springs! <gasps> your Majesty! To what do we owe your presence at the springs at this hour? Your radiance! Yeah! Place an autograph! Fine, fine. Your radiant divine queen shall grant you your wishes. Golden cheese cookie, please help us save the world. Silence! You will not interrupt my respite. Watch your tongue in front of the denizens. They've all been made to forget that this kingdom is but a constructed reality. We are barely keeping the peace as it is. Surely you do not wish to cause the kingdom to fall into chaos. Ah, yes. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your radiance. May I humbly offer you some refreshments? We have prepared a charcuterie board. Very well. But serve for me a simple meat jelly dipped in cheese. Share the rest with the denizens. Whoa! Her radiance is so generous! Yes, yes. Hearing my cookies sing my praises improves my mood indeed. Is your radiance not the divine ever-gleaming queen of this kingdom? You deserve all the praise and more. That's right. And how hard I've worked to hear it. So now, I shall never let it go. My friends may despair, worry, and act out in anger. But my strength must be used for my own pursuits. Your Majesty, what do you mean to say? All I said was that I would not join the war. Not that I wouldn't prepare for it. I've been using my soul jam in the pursuit of happiness. From now on, I'll use it for safety as well. Firstly, perhaps we should relocate Mozzarella Cookie's control chamber to a safer location? Higher up, where she can overlook the kingdom and detect unwanted intruders. Whoa! can build a tower just like that? Oh. My. Jeez. Simply incredible. Uh, my books hold no mention of such magic, that's for sure. It might be a virtual world, but even so, the strength of Soul Gym surely is amazing to behold. Huh? Uh, what world? Uh, it's nothing. I just... Ugh, wanted to say that Golden Cheese Cookie is amazing. <laughs> That's right. This amazing kingdom is all thanks to our Radiant Queen. There's no other kingdom where the ruler can fix anything with a flick of their wrist. With strength so great, she would be invaluable in the war against Dark Enchantress Cookie. I hope we can find a way to convince Golden Cheese Cookie to fight by our side. Whatever it takes. Alert! Alert! Reports of monsters on the streets. What's this now? Monsters? Affirmative. Deploying a cleanup unit. <sighs> I will join the marzipan cookies. After all, who else will take care of those monsters? <laughs> we'll come help you too! You're still here, huh? Adventurer Cookie? 
What are you saying? You said you'd do whatever it takes to get Golden Cheese Cookie to join us. We should get on her good side then, right? You must know now that we two can take care of those monsters. Oh, of course. It's our duty to help. We like this kingdom after all. Please let us. Hmm. If you say you'd volunteer to protect my kingdom, I have no reason to oppose this. You may go. Yes, your radiance. We will be back. All right, let's go. We'll take care of those monsters together. Smoked cheese cookie. This is the optimal time to smoke the intruders. Smoke? What do you mean? You're gonna actually smoke the monsters? <laughs> That's right. I can control monsters by enveloping them with my smoke. Just monster. Obey your new master. Wow. The monsters turned completely harmless. We could have handled them. It feels strange to end a battle like this. Oh, yes, I'm sure you could. I witnessed your potential back in the Colosseum with my own eyes. And now, since you do not need to regain your strength, it would be a perfect time for you to leave our kingdom. Leave? No way! We have to go convince Golden Cheese Cookie to fight! <laughs> Are you still hoping for the help of her soldier? <laughs> Give it up. She'll never lend that strength to anyone. She'd sooner use it to deal with you. Yes! The tingling is back! What tingling? I feel it too. But what's with this flickering every time it tingles? Doesn't it remind you of the sparkles we saw when those monsters appeared? This. Marzipan cookies. One of you will transfer the monsters to the cages. The rest, capture these cookies. Wait, what? We haven't even done anything wrong! <laughs> just, just be careful, will you? Oh, it's already stinging everywhere! Targets captured. Please specify destination. The mozzarella cookies control chamber. She must examine her symptoms. Hmm. Now try this. <laughs> wow! Well done! Your victory will be guaranteed in just five moves! Oh! Happy! Defeat. Defeat. Fettuccine cookie stats are 86 wins, 2 draws and 64 losses out of 152 games in total. Mozzarella Cookie predicted a win in the 152nd game. This isn't fun at all. Games are boring when you've mastered it all. Mozzarella Cookie. Oh, smoked cheese cookie. So what do I owe the pleasure? Perhaps it's related to those outlanders by your side. That's right! Our dough has been feeling super strange! Oh, yes. It tingles, it stings, and we keep seeing flickering lights. Oh, my. <laughs> Would you come a bit closer? I must examine you. This is because you're in the same situation as the monsters that appear in the city. Good jelly! Are we monsters too? What can I say? You've entered the city just like them. Unlike us, connected via our souls, you brought your actual dough into this world. The longer you remain, the more errors will occur. It's no wonder you're in pain. Just like monsters, they have entered as their doughy selves and have caused continuous errors. We must take care of this at once. I shall envelop you in my smoke, 
and control your minds to ensure your departure. What? Mind control? Oh. You think you can send us away just like that? I suppose your comfortable and luxurious lifestyle here has made you delusional. We cannot just be controlled like those monsters of yours. We will not leave until Golden Cheese Cookie pledges to help. Comfortable and luxurious, you say. You ignorant little. Smoked Cheese Cookie, enough. <sighs> just wait. Till I take control of your brain, and I'll close that pesky mouth of yours. What in Cheese's name is going on here? I hear nothing from you, and now I come to find you in this ruckus. Can you not restrain yourself? Smoke Cheese Cookie, I recall warning you against using your powers to control other cookies. But it seems you have forgotten. I apologize, Your Radiance. Anxiety got the best of me with all of these uncontrollable errors. These errors are nothing I can solve. Or do you plan to use your smoke on fettuccine cookie as well? <coughs> I see. It's like you said. Fettuccine cookie is causing errors as well. And thus has created a crack in this world. This world is built from golden cheese cookie strength. But could it be that errors can cause a crack in this world? No. In Golden Cheese Cookie? <laughs> in that case, I will be able to use her weakness to my advantage and steal away her soul jam. And finally, I can take over the other kingdoms and block Dark Enchantress Cookie's advance without that brat getting in my way. Hmm. Outsiders, are you hurt in any way? We're okay. Ah! Hmm, indeed. You've caused numerous errors. Your Majesty, please forgive me for the delay and accept my gratitude. Thank you for placing my control chamber up high. I assume it's to make the kingdom safer. Naturally. I am pleased that you see my intentions so clearly. That's mozzarella cookie for you. But I must say, I'm concerned already. Improving the safety architecture will be a daunting task. And yet, we can't just allow the errors to occur. Ugh, if only someone could help us. Hmm, I see. Cookies from beyond. What say you to a deal? A deal? What is it that you want from us? I wish for you to join us in dealing with the errors that currently plague the kingdom. If you accept, I will personally amend the errors you're suffering from. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. Then... Uh... Wait. We will only accept this proposal. If you promise to reconsider joining us, we're not asking for a guarantee of an alliance, but simply that you'll hear us out. Surely you can do that. You really are a stubborn fellow. Fine, fine. If you take care of the errors, I'll hear you out once more. May the blessings of gold wash over you. Wow. The stinging sensation is completely gone! Of course. For there is nothing in this world the Golden Sovereign cannot do. Hmm. To think that the strength of the Soul Jam is being used on that bunch. How foul. What's the harm? Seems like a good deal to me. And you too, huh? Stop your squabbling and let us move! much to do. Wow! You have so many monsters under your control! What's with all this smoke? A strong cage filled with mind-controlled monsters. And to think all of this is supported by the strength of the Soul Jam. 
I can see why the historical texts all describe the Golden Cheese Kingdom as extremely powerful. This is impressive. Impressive? This is the very glory of the Golden Cheese Kingdom. Hmm. What should we do with our prisoners? Smoked cheese cookie, as the superintendent of this area, what do you think? Hmm. To be quite frank with you, I have been pondering the idea of capturing even more monsters, and use this force to our benefit. If need be, we may even let these monsters loose at the border of our kingdom to combat any intruders. Like this group of outsiders, for example. Is that so? I doubt we'll need to go to such lengths, but... But I would be your divine queen understand your worries and anxieties. Very well. Let us expand the cage. Will this satisfy you? My queen, I must also mention that due to the size of the cage, we could only maintain a small number of monsters of lower air weight. Now that the capacity of the cages has grown, however, we have the luxury of capturing every single one of them and replacing them with finer specimens later, if needed. Another hasty decision? What has made you come to such a conclusion? To be frank, Your Majesty, seeing a cage so huge, I simply feel impatient to... Fill it up. <laughs> so you are pleased, I see. Well, do as you desire. Perhaps I should have done this for you much sooner. It is an honor that you entrust this task to me, your radio. I will do my absolute best as the superintendent of the cages. It is my duty to ensure a radiant future for our glorious kingdom. here uh, is it time for us to convince you yet surely not in such an expansive kingdom there must be tons of stuff to fix more errors await where to next i'd love for it to be somewhere culturally significant is that so are you so eager to explore and admire this glorious kingdom of mine huh let me see there's still the High Priest Cheesenbird's House of Prayer and Burnt Cheese Cookie's Great Gates. Ah, yes. Let us make our way to the House of Prayer via the avenue beloved by the Kingdom's denizens. Your Majesty, would you go ahead without us? I'd like to discuss a few potential additions to our systems with Smoked Cheese Cookie before we move on. Is there anything to discuss? Oh, very well. Let's hear it. <laughs> Are you saying you don't want me to have a look at those cages? Smoked cheese cookie. Pick your battles. You know mozzarella cookie's nature. <sighs> I don't know what tricks you have up your sleeve, mozzarella cookie. But I expect you both to behave and join us with haste. Of course, your radiance. We'll reunite in a minute. All that has changed is the size. The actual cages are exactly the same. I see no need for you to examine them further. So what are your actual intentions? Oh my jeez! I actually wanted to see the cage, you know. To calculate how many monsters could fit into it. And, smoked cheese cookie, I wanted to check whether your ambitions had grown. Just like this cage of yours. <laughs> to think you have such suspicions about me. Are you sure the height of your new office hasn't gone into your head? <laughs> How amusing. I guess you could see it that way. How could I remain the same after hearing Golden Cheese Cookie's decision? The only one who remains unchanged is her. If we just lock ourselves up inside this place and refuse to act, the Golden Cheese Kingdom will end up collapsing in the most dull way ever. 
And our ambitious and divine ruler completely refuses to recognize this fact. I could not agree with her. She refuses to listen when we inform her of such dangers. I admit, I was unaware the situation troubled you, Mozzarella Cookie. You showed no signs. I knew that voicing my thoughts would never change anything, you see. But I realized something when those cookies arrived with such shocking news. If this kingdom ever has to change, it must be now. Then, what do you think we need to do to help make that happen? We must work from beyond the kingdom. As for how we'll do this, I have no clue. <laughs> huh. Just keep this in mind for now. The fact that I brought this up with just the two of us here means that I currently find you, Smoked Cheese Cookie, much more interesting than our ever-radiant queen. <laughs> oh, I see. Of course. You became a denizen of this kingdom purely for fun's sake, so I can't say I'm surprised. Well then, if you promise to keep these thoughts from Golden Cheese Cookie, I'll show you something very interesting. Wow, then I'll look forward to it. On one hand, I feel ready. And yet, a part of me is still unsure. Oh well, a sliver of doubt is needed to change the course of history. Marzipan Cookie, start logging the monsters that enter the cage, including their type, initial sighting location, and error category. Submit the reports directly to me. We will also need surveillance on Ginger Brave and his friends, as well as Smoked Cheese Cookie and Golden Cheese Cookie. Understood, Mozzarella Cookie. You must also gather the other Marzipan Cookies. I will inform you of a new contingency protocol for an emergency situation. The targets of this mission are Smoked Cheese Cookie and Golden Cheese Cookie. Wow, the streets are sparkling. It's almost too dazzling. Wow, interesting. Some of the locals don't really look like cookies, and they're not cheese birds either. That is because I constructed this kingdom so that everyone could transform and present in the way they prefer. So my loyal subjects can express their individuality, even if they are different from that of regular cookies and cheese birds. So the praise that rained upon me on the day announced that I would grant them this gift. Aha! So then your giant boar wasn't your actual dove. <clears throat> This transformation is supposed to represent the magnitude of my splendor. Crime reported. Crime reported. The suspect, Crow. Suspect, captured. What? My Crow would never... Wait. so pretty that I couldn't just admire it from afar. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, did I train you to behave like this? I'm so ashamed of you. Sure. I was wondering where my golden anklet had gone, but I see it's right here. Please, accept my deepest apology. I should have trained my crows better. Chirp, but chirp. What a fascinatingly greedy little fellow. But like they say, the greedier the bird, the wider it'll spread its wings. I shall give you this golden anklet as a present. Now use that greed for something good. Chirp, chirp! Oh, thank you for understanding. Hi, Priest Cheesenberg. Your generosity shouldn't leave you with a loss. I will graciously gift you a new golden anklet. Which one would be to your liking? Oh my! To think we're witnessing.
witnessing the historic gold creation firsthand. Somebody pinch me. I mean, am I dreaming? Oh, my jeez. I couldn't refuse such a generous offer. Then I will choose another round ankling. Thanks to you, I have received a new anklet in exchange for an old one. <laughs> if you care to visit the House of Prayer later, I shall give you a warm welcome. Chirp, chirp. Settlement complete. Case closed. One of Black Raisin Cookie's crows just stole that golden anklet. And yet that high priest reacts by gifting the anklet and praising the crow? Good jelly, I thought he was about to get angry when he called it a greedy little fellow. Actually, greedy has been used as a compliment since the olden days here in the Golden Cheese Kingdom. What? Why is that? Because I was greedy, of course. I obtained the soul jam with the power of my almighty greed. And with this greed, I established my kingdom and helped it prosper. So what could be a better compliment than greedy here in the Golden Cheese Kingdom? I thought you only cared about yourself. But I suppose we've more in common than I realized. Hmm. And what is your point, exactly? I meant to say that we care for the cookies around us in a similar way. As I've been protecting my village as well. Even if my dough was crumbling, I'd just wrap it up and continue fighting using all my strength to protect the village. Black Raisin Cookie. I thought it was selfish for a strong cookie like you to refuse to join the war, just to make sure you didn't lose what's precious to you. But now that I see the care for your followers when they lose something as small as a golden anklet, I realize I was wrong. You simply want to protect the cookies dear to you, and it scares you to think you might not be able to do so. <laughs> You're as bold as your thieving crows to compare the Golden Sovereign to a village leader. And yet, I quite like what you said.